So I often hear, well, I often hear because the voices are very loud, about reasons that people hate Wichita Falls. So that's what we're talking about today. And stay tuned because we're getting started right now. Hey y'all, welcome back. I'm Debbie Dobbins. I'm your host for this episode of Your Wichita Falls, and I want to talk about all the reasons that people absolutely hate Wichita Falls. Because at the end of the day, everything in your life, and I'm going to start to incorporate a little bit more of my own personal philosophy of life, and that is the more you hate something, the more you see it in your life, and the more you appreciate something, the more you see that in your life. And whether or not you know me as a real estate agent, or a mortgage person, or as an investor, and I just started a nonprofit, the fact is, is that everything in my life is about how do I see the good in it. So if you're watching this channel, I hope that's your philosophy. If it's not, I invite you to perhaps go someplace else or change your mind. Because the fact is, is that everything in life is fantastic. But if you're seeing it in that negative light, probably not going to be great. So I want to talk about all those things that people say that they hate about Wichita Falls. And let's talk about the number one thing that's going on right now in Wichita Falls, actually North Texas. And that is, oh my God, the heat. The heat is insane. The heat is insane. I'm already fatigued and I can handle a lot. And the fact of the matter is, is that I've done plenty of videos on the weather in Wichita Falls. And I actually love the weather in Wichita Falls. It reminds me very much about California where I lived, which, which is considered mostly desert. And we've had, you know, a little, a little heat here, a little cold there, and life is great. Well, honestly, we've been experiencing since around May, over 100 degree temperatures. Some days, 115, 117, and trust me when I say, it's sometimes challenging, even with a good attitude, to experience that heat. The good news is, is that I feel like I'm super blessed because I have air conditioning. I've got a, well, I don't have a pool, my mom has a pool, but the fact is, is that there are so many people out there that don't have these amenities. Literally, they're living in homes with window units and they can't even find the money to make those work. So instead of complaining about it, I try to find ways to help them, thus the nonprofit. My nonprofit is called One Block at a Time and more about that later. But the heat here is not going to be forever. It just isn't. You know, they say some things come but they don't stay. Well, that's true about everything. And this will dissipate at some point. Well, somebody wants to argue that point, I'm sure, because we had a drought not too long ago in Wichita Falls, and it was for a little bit of time, several years as a matter of fact. There were people that gave up. So I always tell everybody, don't give up one minute before the miracle happens, because the miracle has been happening here. The magic has been happening here in Wichita Falls for a number of years now. And that being said, had they not left, they probably would have experienced that. And they would have remembered and hopefully told the people here right now that this heat is not forever. So, just know it's not forever. And it's always something somewhere. I come from the great state of California where people are afraid of wildfires because they happen all the time. They're afraid of earthquakes because they happen all the time. You could be living in Florida where they have hurricanes all the time. So here's the thing is that there's always something somewhere. Wherever you are, there you are, and make the best out of it. Now, the number two reason that I hear a lot about why people think Wichita Falls, or they hate it, is that it is a meth community. Oh my goodness. I actually have people on this channel comment about don't go there because it's a meth capital. I'm like, oh my God. First of all, just know if you make those kind of comments on this channel, they just get deleted because it's a private channel, even though it's public, your comments like that are not welcomed. Because first of all, they're not true. They're just not true. You know, the fact of the matter is, is that there are drugs everywhere. If you watch the news at all, there's drugs in every community. And yes, do we have drugs in our community? Absolutely. I'm from the great state of California. There are drugs everywhere. And there are drugs coming in across the border from everywhere. There are people that have labs that create drugs. Oh, well. The fact is, is that it's up to us in our own communities to address those issues. So, that being said, 
There is not any greater drug activity here than there is anywhere else. And that's just a fact. So you can look that up statistically. But more important than anything is, is that you as a citizen in wherever you live are completely at your own free will to make decisions about where you want to live, who you want to be your neighbors, and how you want to address those things. I know that some people will complain on my, my big 21,000 member group that they cannot deal with their neighbors. Here's the thing, and I know every, I'm going to get pushback from this, but I don't care. You are in charge of where you live. So if you need to move, maybe you don't do it immediately, but you set a plan and you create that experience for yourself. There's always an opportunity to live where you want to live if you make that decision for yourself. Anything in your life. And if you know anything about me, you know that I create magic. I believe in miracles because miracles happen every single day. So we don't have, we're not the drug capital of the world. We're not the meth capital of the world. All of that is false, 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 false. Now, another thing that I hear quite often about why people hate Wichita Falls is there's nothing to do. Oh my goodness gracious. I have said on many, many videos that there is plenty to do here and in, and even further, I have a little list that goes out every week of fun in the falls, things that are happening in Wichita Falls. There is more to do than one person could actually find to do. But once again, it's all about this mindset. If you decide that there's nothing to do wherever you live, there's nothing to do. If you decide that you are going to have fun in your life, no matter what, you will pull those people in that same mindset in life. So if you ever want to know something to do in Wichita Falls, you can join my group, Wichita Whispers. You can get on the list, Fun in the Falls. There are a number of other websites that talk about all the things to do in Wichita Falls. And if you are interested in much bigger events, because we don't always have the biggest events for concerts and plays and that sort of thing, although we do have two live theaters, which are absolutely fabulous. For a community this size, it's amazing to me the talent that we have in this town. That being said, it's two hours maximum to go to Oklahoma City or go to Dallas, uh, the Dallas Metroplex. And they have huge events and, and concerts and they've got a great art district. We also have a great art district. But the fact is, is that there's nothing very far away if indeed you want something that big. Now, I just want to put things into a little bit of perspective because I hate to, you know, constantly go back to being a Southern California girl, but the fact is that all the time that I ever lived there, there weren't concerts two walks from where I lived unless I lived in downtown Los Angeles, which frankly, I would never want to do. I did it. Don't want to do it again. But if I wanted to go to a concert in Southern California and I lived what I preferred to call was the burbs because it's a little less congested and, and crazy, it would be two hours to get to any concert because of the traffic. So regardless of where you live, if you live in Southern California and you live in Wichita Falls, Texas, the accessibility to entertainment is basically identical. So one of the things I find fascinating about people, especially if they've lived here for a long time or their whole life, their perspective is right here. And perhaps sometimes it's important to have lived someplace else or to experience something else to appreciate how much you have here and how much you love it. Now, the other thing that I've heard complained about recently, and I find this really kind of hilarious, is we've had some road closures, some freeway closures. We had a truck drive down one of our local freeways. These freeways are very small. And um, a big piece of equipment fell off and it made a giant hole in the freeway giant hole. You could not drive on it. You could see the rebar through the hole. That's how bad it was, which frankly, I was fascinated. I thought it must have been some sort of spaceship that did that because that was a big hole in a freeway. And the freeway was cut off and they were doing some bridge closures. So all of this was happening at the same time. Granted, there was congestion. Now congestion for us is about five minutes. And the people came out of the woodwork on our social media to complain about the traffic and the road closures. Well, that had to be done. We wanted to maintain our streets. And I think back, wow, you know, living and growing up in Southern California, if they did anything on a freeway, these were massive congestions. 
literally your life was turned upside down for months and months and months, years even, because the roads were so congested. So the good news is, is and it still is, we have the most amazing lack of traffic, the most amazing lack of traffic, and I say that in probably almost every video that I talk about Wichita Falls, the number two things that people say about Wichita Falls that they love the most are the people and the lack of traffic. So even when things are difficult, things are always going to be difficult in life, I promise you. You're always gonna have obstacles that come up in front of you. It's how you deal with those obstacles that make your life better or worse or uncomfortable or comfortable. So keeping in mind that there is just so much good here in Wichita Falls, it's unbelievable. So I could probably go on and on and on and on and on about all the lists that people actually complain about Wichita Falls because it seems to me, if you even look at social media anymore, people are complaining about everything. You know, you can complain about politics, you can complain about traffic, you can complain about weather. Oh, by the way, people do complain about a polit our politics here. And whether you're complaining about politics on a national, a state, or a local level, this also applies. Become involved. If you complain about politics in any way, whose responsibility is it for you to participate and change that? It's yours. We still do have a democracy here, so it's important to know that we cannot sit around on our lounge chairs and say we're unhappy about something if we didn't do anything to change it. So once again, life is beautiful, life is wonderful. I love Wichita Falls, you know that I do, and I love it because I've had to experience things that are so much more challenging the challenges here are so much less than anything I've ever grown up with in my life, number one. But number two, it's so warm, it's so inviting, it's so amazingly friendly that if you are looking for a community like this, I've said to many people, this is not everyone's cup of tea. Oh my goodness, no. I have a friend that said that their daughter is all about living in lofts in a downtown area, probably in Austin. There's a unique place for every single person so it's up to you to decide where you want to live and how you want to live your life. And don't ever believe that you're stuck anywhere because if you have a dream, follow it. That's the big message here is that no matter what you live in, be happy about it until you can change it. Because if you're unhappy about it, it will never change. So I know that this is probably a, a warm and fuzzy video more than it is I hate Wichita Falls, but the fact of the matter is, is please, change your life based on what you want and stop complaining about what you don't want. Have a vision, have a dream, be alive. Trust your visions and go for them because dreams do come true. And as I always say, 2022 is the year of magic. So y'all come back now, you hear? Bye.